On the first Monday of April, Italian luxury brand Versace announced two new global brand ambassadors. One is Anne Hathaway, the A-list, internationally known American actress, and the other is Chris Lee, also an A-list star in her own right, but primarily only known in the Chinese-speaking market. As I shared in previous videos about how fashion brands evaluate and pick their brand ambassadors. Especially on a global level, they are very careful, and every decision is thought out. So why did Versace give the same honor to Chris Lee, whose global fame is nowhere as near as her counterpart Anne Hathaway? If you look at the Instagram likes that each of their posts gets on Versace's official account, those for Anne Hathaway's pictures are three to four times more than those starring Chris Lee. Well, to start with, it's for a very practical reason: to pander to the huge Chinese luxury market, which is on track to become the world's largest in 2025. But this is also where the controversy lies. Keep watching and don't forget to subscribe. In 2019, Versace had a big crisis in China by mistakenly designing a T-shirt. Where on the back it prints the names of major cities in the world and the countries they belong to. It sounds like a cool idea, right? But somehow it says Hong Kong belongs to Hong Kong, which essentially means that Hong Kong is a country, not belonging to China, which has actually been the sovereign country of Hong Kong since 1997. This huge flop immediately set people in China on fire, calling for the boycott of Versace, telling the Italian luxury brand to get the f out of China. The backlash was profound. Versace's parent company Capri suffered sales losses that year as a direct result. It seemed like it was nearly impossible for Versace to repair its reputation in China until now, with the help of Chris Lee. After attending Gucci's Paris Fashion Week show in February, Chris Lee made a high-profile appearance at Versace's 2023 Fall Winter Show in Los Angeles. Of course, as a responsible brand ambassador, she wore Versace items on the red carpet, but also for her off-duty looks as well. Fans quickly noticed that she was wearing this oversized black hoodie that looks very similar to the problematic T-shirt four years ago, with all the city's names printed on the back. But if you look closely, the text has changed completely, and Hong Kong now belongs to China. It's never been officially confirmed, but it's said on Chinese internet that Chris Lee's hardline precondition. For agreeing to be Versace's brand ambassador, as if the Italian brand would redesign this T-shirt. Now that's seen as a heroic move in China, with even the state media praising her quote patriotic move. On Versace's Chinese social media account, where it announced Chris Lee's ambassadorship, the brand also openly reinstates its support for the One China policy and sovereign integrity. Which was also shared on the brand's LinkedIn account, with only less than half a million followers. However, this part was somehow taken out in Versace's English announcement on its official Instagram account, which has 28 million followers. Very interesting move there. Politics aside, let's examine from an artistic and fashion business perspective why Versace picked Chris Lee. Who, unlike the voluptuous Anne Hathaway, has a very distinct style of her own. Most, if not all, people will remember Chinese female celebrities looking like this and this, and especially the goddess Fan Bingbing. Chris Lee, on the contrary, is very tomboyish and unisex in her physical shape and looks. And yes, in China, which is most often seen as a traditional conservative society when it comes to gender identities, an androgynous-looking woman can also become a superstar. Chris Lee rose to fame in 2005 by winning the top place in an all-girl singing competition, kind of like The Voice, but only for female vocalists. Her style was unlike any that anybody had ever seen in China, with a unique mezzo soprano voice. 
只有你没有的，你要相信我，去独占。And back then, she was even more gender neutral looking. And I have to mention that the same competition's winners were determined by votes from the general public, not by judges. So Chris Lee started off with a very large and strong fan base, who finds her endogenous style very refreshing and new. She was even on the cover of the Time magazine's Asian edition that year for bringing shockwaves to China far beyond her singing voice. According to Time, her attitude, creativity, and dual gender performance also challenged China's traditional norms. In the 15 plus years since then, she's had a very successful career in China as a singer and musician, with many chart-topping songs, record-breaking albums, and sold-out concerts. She also dabbled in several TV shows and movies. For instance, in the movie Bodyguards and Assassins, where Chris Lee co-starred with Donnie Yen, she got nominated for her role as Best Supporting Actress and actually won several acting awards. Looking back through her earlier years, Chris Lee's wardrobe choices were very much men's fashion. But about ten years ago, she made a big pivot and surprised many by appearing in dresses and skirts. At first, it took some getting used to, and some people felt Chris's more feminine looks were a bit like a drag queen. But slowly and gradually, she became more comfortable herself with the new wardrobe, with heavier makeup, high heels, and feminine accessories. Chris definitely had to thank whoever convinced her into this, because without this transformation, she would not have had the same level of fashion resources that she's had since then, with many critically acclaimed red carpet looks during Cannes festivals. Before this brand endorsement deal was Versace, Chris Lee was appointed Givenchy's global brand ambassador in 2015. And appeared in that year's Met Gala. She also collaborated with the late Karl Lagerfeld and Chanel, and represented Gucci on a range of campaigns and fashion weeks since 2017. While Chris Lee is definitely a fashion icon right now, having graced the covers of many fashion magazines, you will hardly see people complimenting her as sexy. And her styles are still very much gender fluid. Well, that's exactly why Versace picked her, because the androgynous style, as recent as this year's Fashion Week trends, is still very much in vogue. As Donatella Versace said herself, Chris Lee is a great champion of creativity of Chinese culture and youth, and a true Versace woman. Though very different in their styles, Chris Lee and Anne Hathaway, as Versace's new global brand ambassadors, do have one thing in common: their social impact as celebrities. Chris Lee's charity fund that she started with her fans have raised tens of millions of dollars, helping everything from natural disaster victims to supporting children's health and education. Oh, and she's also around the same age as Anne Hathaway, almost 40 years old. But when it comes to Chris Lee's relationship details, it still remains a big mystery, even in her home country, China. In the almost two decades of her career in entertainment, she had zero, zero dating rumors reported by paparazzi. But maybe that's a good thing. The fact that she's able to keep her image very clean and intact is a very safe bet for Versace. Unlike the stories with Fan Bingbing, as I detailed in my other video. 